Hi everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to spend time in God's presence and in His Word. We've come to an end of this week. We've been talking about trust, trusting in the Lord through different seasons of our life. And today we'll talk about, I will not be shaken. Psalm 62 and verse 6. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress and I will not be shaken. Receiving an unexpected prognosis or bad news can be very unsettling. Suddenly, all sense of normalcy goes out the window, plans are put on hold, and life becomes about managing one day at a time. This can all happen for all sorts of reasons, and we can have this feeling of disorientation, confusion, and uncertainty. Those experiences are a normal part of dealing with a crisis. So what does the psalmist say here? He says, I will not be shaken. Does that mean he, will, he never felt bewilderment with life's circumstances? No. We see clearly that the psalmist feels like a leaning wall or a tottering fence. He feels hurt and vulnerable, and yet he repeats that his rest and hope are in God. We don't have to cover up our feelings when we're going through tough times. We can be honest about our feelings. At times, David was so overwhelmed by his enemies that he felt as if it was cords of death entangled him. He felt that his end was near. In response, David called on the only one who could help him. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I have been saved from my enemies. David displayed great courage based on trust in God, his rock and deliverer. David had been taught and he had learned from experience that, Lord, that the Lord was always present for him. The, psalm, the song of Psalm 62 gives us a beautiful invitation. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. In, in a mysterious way, being vulnerable and pouring our hearts open, in a mysterious way, being vulnerable and pouring out our hearts opens us to receiving the foundation of God's loving character in our lives. We may not be able to control what happens in our lives, but we have the invitation to rely on God. No matter what happens, even if we feel as if we have toppled, we will not be shaken. When we know that we depend on God for all good things as David did, we know that calling on God will bring the solution to what we need. This doesn't mean that we should ignore emergency services or other kinds of help that are available uh, around us. God provides those resources uh, in our communities for the good of everyone. But realizing that we rely on God to help us with our needs is a great comfort for us today as of the time of David. Let's be sure to call on God whenever we need any kind of help. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful week and thank you for teaching us throughout the week about trust. Lord, this is our heart's desire that each one of us will trust in you, trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. Your ways are higher than our ways, your thoughts are higher than ours. We thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.